Welcome to Who's Laughing Now, brought to you exclusively by Hoosier TV. I got started in stand-up uh, when I was 35 years old, and um, I just always loved comedy. I used to love Flip Wilson and Bob Hope, and um, I didn't know I could do comedy. Uh, I used to go to a lot of comedy shows, and uh, one time I went to a show and the comic was just so bad. I thought, man, you know, I can, I get more laughs than this on the job site, you know, because I'm a construction guy. So um, I just uh, went up and uh, went to an open mic and, uh, you know, kind of started doing it for fun and it, and it kind of took off after a while. So, you know what, um, I, I, I don't know if I really care about being famous, you know, I think I'd like to have enough fame just to charge a little more at the door, you know, that might be nice. Uh, but I really truly do this because I just love it. And I, I love to make people laugh. And when people come up after the show and they say, you know, we just really enjoyed you. We related to what you said. You know, thank you. We had a rough week. You know, that, that is just so much. That means a lot to me. Well, uh, I am on Facebook and uh, I have a website, which uh, in the beginning, you know, you didn't really need that. And uh, it was a little tougher to, to get gigs maybe, you know, calling clubs and, you know, sending them a tape and, and now, you know, they can just pretty much click on and see your whole life and where you are and what clubs you're working and how serious you are about it, I think. So, or they can not watch it, kind of like what they did before. <laughs> right. My writing basically comes from my experiences with my uh, three marriages and, uh, you know, I'm not a quitter. <laughs> uh, and my kids, my children, you know, real life stories are, are sometimes funnier than anything that you could ever write or come up with on your own. And a lot of my stuff comes from that. And, uh, and people share that with me after the show. They're like, you know, you told my life up there, you know. And, and that's, a, that's a good compliment. That's something that's, you know, it's, it's, I like to hear. Hi, I'm comedian Troy Davis. Check me out on Who's Laughing Now. Next gentleman coming to the stage, the next headlining act for tonight, has toured in over 160 cities, 30 states. He is world renowned. Give it up for Troy Davis, everybody! Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Um, uh, anybody got teenagers at home? Teenagers? Maybe? You guys, one, two, three people? Are you drinking? <laughs> so are they. <laughs> You'll be lucky if your house is still there when you get home. I got a 19 year old daughter at home, 19 years old. She's very honest, but she doesn't always tell me everything. I had a half a gallon of vodka in the garage in the freezer, and it was suddenly frozen. So I call this to her attention. <laughs> we got frozen vodka here. She goes, how'd that happen? I said, well, you take vodka out of the freezer, you let some out, put water in this place, put it back in, it's going to freeze. She said, I didn't know that. I said, I can see that. <laughs> she's not driving yet either. I'm not helping her. She's uncoordinated. I know she's going to wreck. She comes up to me the other day. She goes, well, Dad, why don't you just get me a practice car? <laughs> yeah, I'll be right with you guys. I turned my daughter loose in a practice car. You know, we as comedians, we get up here, we write jokes, we think of funny things to say, but real life is funnier than anything that you could write, you know. This next story is a perfect example. My daughter and I were talking about the whole car issue. We decided that she should get a job. Well, I decided. <laughs> she went down to a local pizza place to apply. I told her, get there at 10 o'clock when they open. You know, that'll make a good impression. Get there bright and early. So she had a couple friends take her. She sat down there in the parking lot for like 10, 15 minutes, and she never did come, uh, go in. She came home, I said, did you get the job? She said, no, Dad, I'm going to go back after 12 o'clock. <laughs> and I said, well, why would you do that? She said, because she said, there was a sign in the window that said, now hiring afternoons and evenings. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I wish that was a joke right there. <laughs> now you know why I don't want her driving. True story here, I had a girlfriend, I found out she was cheating on me a day before we went to Disney World. I know, and her parents were paying for the whole trip. I thought, what the hell? <laughs> I can hang on for a couple days, right? Hey, I've never been to Disney World. It's always been a childhood dream. I'll break up with her ass on Monday. I'm being a complete jerk. You know, she's trying to pick toppings for the pizza, but Troy, you love pepperoni, so I'm like, not today. 
a little bit later. Hey, let's get our picture taken. That won't be necessary. <laughs> then I get the ultimate setup. She don't even get it. We're sitting there side by side on a whirly ride. The guy's like, please secure your loose belongings. <laughs> Still mine for the weekend. <laughs> I know women hate that joke. Last girlfriend broke up with me because I have a foot fetish. She thought I should have higher goals. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys want? Knock knock jokes here? What do you... <laughs> I love women's feet. Girls paint your toes real pretty, but a lot of girls get freaked out too with a guy that has a foot fetish because every time I go to suck on a girl's toes, she's like, freak. I should probably try talking to him first. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you guys are taking this stuff too serious. <laughs> I'll leave you guys with this. Um, I'm 50 years old, and uh, thanks. I'm still turning women's heads at stoplights. I'm sensing a little doubt over here. <laughs> this side of the room. I do. I turn women's heads all day long at the stoplight. It goes a lot like this. Right, because you ladies, y'all feel those eyes on you at the stoplight, right? Guys, ever pull up the stoplight wonder why ladies won't look? Because of that one guy. That one guy that ruined it for all of us. Ladies, all guys do this, even married guys, we do whatever it takes to get your attention at the light. We'll make that last minute an adjustment. <laughs> and we'll back up, we have to. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> it never works, right, because you ladies have total concentration. Eyes straight ahead, hands at 10 and 2. I don't know why the steering wheel is so small. <laughs> She's in a go-kart. I used to think that women wouldn't look because you're stuck up, but that's not it, is it? You can't give us guys any encouragement at all. One little glance. She's checking me out. <laughs> we can't help it though, can we guys? <laughs> There's like three honest guys in here. <laughs> Chris, you guys like, we got no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> no, it's a comedy show, honey. He's making all this crap up. <laughs> we always look to see if there's a good-looking girl there, and when there's not, there's that awkward moment where two guys are looking at each other. <laughs> <laughs> Every once in a while, that guy over there like, hey. <laughs> now I'm 10 and 2. <laughs> Notice the bigger steering wheel. <laughs> hey, that's my time, guys. I'm Troy Davis. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching Who's Laughing Now? Brought to you exclusively by Hoosier TV.